Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day. These are by far my most favorite, favorite videos to record just because I love nutrition so, so much. And today's video is actually going to be based on recipes that I love and that just fuel my body and that are wholesome and nutritional because that's exactly what food should be. It should never be about depriving, it should always be about feeding your body and helping your body function properly. So, before we get into this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up to support your galley. And now I'm gonna show you my breakfast recipe because it's really, really nice. Okay, let me show you. <laughs> So for breakfast, I'm gonna be making two scrambled eggs with one spring onion, some Persian bread. I'm going to make some guacamole, super simple. I'm not the best at making guac, so if you have any helpful tips, make sure that you let me know in the comments below. So basically, I'm gonna be using half an avocado, a bit of garlic, olive oil, um, lemon, and then some fruit on the side. And I absolutely love this dish. It's so weird, right? I don't like just avocado on its own, but I love guac. I don't know, I don't, I, I don't get it. So, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go get something really special I wanna show you. So yesterday was actually the Toner Sculpt event. It was absolutely insane. It was epic. It was more than I could have ever dreamt of and wanted. Every single person that came, I absolutely love and adore you. And actually, one of my girlies, my soul sister for life, got me this apron. I just can't deal right now. It says cook it with Chrissy. So it's only right I wear this when I'm cooking with Chrissy. My baby girl, I love you. I love you so, so much. Three, two, one. Cooking with Chrissy. <gasps> oh, dude, I just love doing that. Okay, so now that we're like proper professional and I'm proper in my element, I'm gonna start off by making the guacamole. So essentially all I do is I'm gonna cut this avocado in half. I'm gonna cut a whole garlic, dice it up, and then I'm gonna add the garlic into the avocado, mash it all up with my angel that got me this, also got me some Greek olive oil. So I'm gonna add some Greek olive oil and then some pink Himalayan salt, and then finally a little bit of pepper and lemon juice. So, I'm gonna make that right now. Make the scrambled eggs, add it on my toast. We'll add my avocado on my toast. I was gonna dice my garlic, but I have this, so this will be better. You just basically put your garlic in here, uh. and then you squeeze. Oh, lovely stuff.
Mm. Oh, she like the eggs. I can't have literally eggs without hot sauce. Mm -mm. And by the way, when I eat, I eat. Okay guys, so I've just come back from the gym. I recorded about two Instagram videos. I always like to get them done right before I do any of like the admin stuff of work. And I love producing workout videos on Instagram. I just think they're super easy to follow, especially with the swipe format. And then on YouTube, I like to do more in-depth videos where I talk you through them. Just because Instagram is just really difficult to do that so make sure you check that out now i'm actually at costa coffee i'm gonna have a coffee with jack go back home get loads of work done make lunch then go train <laughs> and then come back get some more work done and then finally make dinner i have a really really fun recipe for dinner it's actually my mama's recipe and i'm excited to share it with you guys right so let's go get a coffee together wave Hi, hi baby. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. Keep waving. Keep waving. Keep waving. Keep waving. Keep waving. Okay, so I got a coconut cappuccino and Jack, what did you get? Vanilla ice latte. A vanilla ice latte. Are they run out of how can they run out of mugs? We're sitting in and everyone's sitting in and has cups like this. But um yeah, so coconut cappuccino and vanilla ice latte. I absolutely love coconut milk, so I'm having this and I'm gonna head on home and get some lunch ready. So I'm back home now and I'm gonna make some lunch. So today what I'm gonna make is a really hearty lunch just because I have not been eating the best lately because I've been so busy with the Tone and Sculp event. So now that that's over and done with, I can kind of get back into the swing of things. And one of my favorite meals that I always go back to that I love, it keeps me full for longer and also it just gives me the energy I need and that's what food is supposed to do, give you that energy that you need. So what I'm gonna be making is some chicken breast, but the chicken breast I'm going to marinate in this container with some lemon, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and some chili flakes. And I'm gonna allow that to marinate. It's better if you do this overnight because your chicken will be so much more delicious and full of flavor, but I don't really have much time. So I'm gonna prep that first whilst I'm prepping everything else and then I'm going to cook it either in the oven or the frying pan. I still haven't decided which one yet. Then for my carbohydrates, I'm using basmati rice. You can also use uh, jasmine rice, brown rice, whatever you fancy. Basmati and jasmine rice is a little bit easier for me to digest than brown rice, which sounds really weird, but don't ask me why. If you hear noise, it's because I'm actually getting the toilets redone. And finally, my house will be finished to show you guys it. It's only been a year. But anyway, we'll get into that story another time. And then for my micronutrients, I am going to make a Greek salad with some tomatoes, cucumber, feta cheese, a sprinkle of olive oil, and some spring onion as well. So as you can see, it's a balanced meal protein, carbs, micronutrients. Your protein doesn't need to be chicken, it can be chickpeas, beans, whatever fits your fancy. Okay, so I'm gonna get cooking right now, so then after that I'm gonna head on over straight to the gym, get a good workout in, come back, and I'm really, really excited to show you the dinner recipe, because it is my mama's recipe, and she, she you know your mum's cooking, right? Like. It don't matter how good of a cook you are, nothing beats your mama's cooking. Like, when I go home and I eat my mom's cooking, I'm like, oh, I feel so cozy, I feel so good. And then when you come home and you try to make it yourself, you're like, why does this actually taste that shit? But anyway, 
let's just get cooking. I'm about to head to the gym and what I'm taking to the gym with me is just my water bottle doing this for me oh oh wait this way there we go um, I've got some squash in here squash is basically just like a um, concentrate that you add water to I know a lot of people in the US always ask me you add squash to your water like the actual vegetable squash but that's not what I add I promise you um, if you want to add that you add that you do you but that's a bit weird I'm not gonna lie you're a freak if you do that <laughs> I'm joking but um, I normally have my berry boost here from women's best I have one scoop of that and if I'm even feeling a little bit crazy, I mean, if I just want to be jumping off my tits, I also have a little bit of coffee, like a double shot espresso, and then I'm just like, woo! Give me that 100 kg to lift, I'm going to do that. But today, I've already had a coffee, so I'm just going to have a berry boost pre-workout, and I'll be good. I just want to show you my uh, supplement drawer. It's cray-cray. So basically, like, you have this here, and then you pull it open and look at this. It's mad. Matting. But um, yeah, we got so many of these protein bars and protein cookies from Women's Best for the event. And I have loads left over. I, oi, I actually love these. This one. Ooh. And everyone in the office loves them. They always make me order them because they're so, 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 so good. I also have so many shakers. You can never have enough shakers because they go a bit funky. And top tip, always leave your shaker in warm water and some washing up liquid. Leave it overnight, rinse it out, and it'll be absolutely fine. Wow, cute tan. Um, okay, so that's what I'm taking to the gym with me. After my workout, dinner time, and then maybe a little sweet treat at the end. Back from the gym now, and I'm going to be making one of my favorite recipes ever. Like, I absolutely love this. When my mama makes this, I'm just like, oh. So basically, this is all veggie based. So you are gonna need two aubergines. I'm making enough for me and Jack. So I'm gonna be making stuffed aubergines. It's better to tell you what I'm making, right? Just begin with. Stuffed aubergines. One courgette. Some tomatoes. Garlic. One whole onion. Some chopped tomato. And then some pita bread. 
So essentially what you're gonna do is you are gonna cut the aubergines in half and then scrape the inside out. You're gonna chop the inside of the aubergine and place it aside. You're gonna chop all your veggies and cook them thoroughly until they're soft. And then you're gonna add your chopped tomato onto all of the veggies that you've just chopped and like basically sauteed. And then you're gonna cook that through. You can also add some okra. But I know not many people have okra, but this makes it taste even better. It's honestly preference. Once you've cooked everything through and it's all like soft and ready, you're gonna put the mixture back into the like aubergine like shell thingies. And then you're gonna simply put it in the oven, let it roast for about 20 minutes until the skin of the aubergine goes soft. And then you have your pizza bread just to dip in there and have it. It's so simple, so, so, so nice, and you can take it along with you in the office, warm it up, have it at lunch, and it's just delicious, I promise you. So I'm gonna make this for me and Jack, and can you believe I've been with my man for four, nearly five years, and I have not made him this dish. Can you believe that? I'm such a bad wife. I'm not even his wife yet. By the time I get there, he'll leave me. But you know, actually, what am I trying to shit for? He ain't ever gonna leave me. Jack, if you want treats, you have to go to the treat cupboard. No. <laughs> okay, guys, so the final thing I'm having is just some cereal. I really fancied some cereal, midnight cereal. I don't understand. Anyway, so I'm having this, and then that is me done for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to try some of these recipes. And be sure to give it a thumbs up because it does support your galley loads. So thank you if you do. And make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Jack is still trying to figure out what treats he wants. Like there's chocolate in the chocolate drawer. I don't know why you can't just have that. Anyway, okay. I love you always and forever. Bye. Bye.